Now here comes the kicker. The fourth sin in IELTS preparation is not understanding the, the format. Not understanding the format, especially in writing and speaking. I'm a very um, staunch proponent, or let's say opponent of using the word purchase in speaking. I've said this millions of times on my channels, in my voice chats. In the IELTS speaking, if you have a choice between using the word buy and the word purchase, which one should we use? The word buy should be used in this. Okay, the word buy, you should use the word buy in IELTS speaking. And the reasoning is very simple. In Uzbek, let's say you bought a new phone. Do you tell your friends, Yange telefon harit qilib aldim? Or do you say, Yange telefon aldim? Yenge telefon aldim. In Tashkent, actually.